Hi everyone, this is Scott Swaney with Fantasy Baseball Sherpa and I'm here with a 2012 Fantasy Baseball preview of the Atlanta Braves hitters. First let's take a quick look at Atlanta, their projected finish. I think they're going to be close to a 500 team fighting with Washington and Atlanta, excuse me, Washington and Miami for the two through four spots in the NL East. I think the Mets have the basement pretty much to themselves and the Phillies should win that division uh, fairly handily. So the Braves, their hitters aren't as good as they've been in the past, and their pitchers, they've got some major health problems right now with Timmy Hudson and Tommy Hansen, so there definitely is some cause for concern there. In terms of fantasy baseball mixed leagues, the top Atlanta Brave is center fielder Michael Bourne, he contributes in three, cower, in three categories only. He doesn't offer anything in home runs or RBIs, but he is capable of stealing about 60 bases, scoring 100 runs, and doing that while batting 285. So definitely someone valuable in the mixed league. The second best option for Atlanta in a mixed league is second baseman Dan Ugla. He should raise his average from last year. You recall he had a 30-game hitting streak in the middle of the season and still only hit 230 something for the year so that gives you an idea of how his season went but I think this year he could bounce back hit about 250 hit 35 home runs and 95 runs batted in and again at this point he's their only really legitimate power threat. Continuing on with mixed league options first baseman Freddie Freeman is in his second year in the league not sure yet whether his power is for real, so a somewhat conservative projection for him would be 20 homers, 90 runs batted in, and a 280 average. Continuing on mixed league options, Brian McCann, the catcher, he's good for 25 home runs, 85 runs batted in, and a 270 average. And next up, we've got right fielder Jason Hayward, who was a big disappointment last year. He should recover somewhat. I think he'll hit 20 home runs, 70 RBIs, steal 10 bases, and wind up with a 265 average. Of course, the big question for him, can he avoid all those nagging injuries that were bothering him all last season? Continuing on, NL only options. Third baseman outfielder Martin Prado was considered a star going into last season, but like several of his Braves teammates, he had a disastrous season. He should bounce back like several of the other guys on the team, 15 home runs, 60 runs batted in, and a 280 average is a reasonable pro reasonable projection for him. Third baseman Chipper Jones, another NL only option, is a corner infielder. Figure on him for also 15 homers, 60 RBIs, but a 265 average, and it'll be a miracle, a minor miracle at least, if he plays 120 games this season. Next, we come to middle infielder option, Tyler Pasternicki, the rookie. Doesn't have much in the way of power. Four home runs, 35 RBIs is my projection for him. But he does potentially steal a lot of bases. I could see him stealing as many as 35 bases this year. But again, this comes with a 245 average, so probably does more harm than good to your team. And finally, we have backup catcher David Ross. He won't catch that many games, but for a backup pat catcher, he is a fairly good source of power. And unlike earlier in his career, his average is no longer something to laugh at. So if you're stuck for a second catcher in an NL only league, consider David Ross. So check out um, over 700 players preseason projections and rankings on fantasybaseballsherpa.com. They're updated continuously throughout spring training. And you can also follow us on Twitter at fantasy underscore Sherpa. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.